All right, everybody, so now we're gonna come in and we're gonna talk about the different formulas in the Accuracy First page. So once you finally get the end of the Accuracy First page by going through the setup, um, first thing you're gonna see is Quick Win, all right? If you hit the center button on Quick Win, you'll see Calculate down below it. Come in, calculate it, you'll get a value. So what is Quick Win and how do you use it? Now, Quick Win is for when you don't really get to look at your Kestrel because maybe you don't have time to be able to come in and look at a proper wind hold or something like that. Um, quick wind was designed to be fast, all right? Quick wind is you need to come in and take a shot quick. Maybe you don't have time to look at the Kestrel to set everything up properly or something like that. So you need a tool to be able to get that shot off as accurately and as fast as possible. The way quick wind works and the way it was designed to work um, is we want to find a wind speed where my range is my mill hold every some odd mile an hour, All right? So what that means is if I'm shooting 500 meters, I want to find the wind speed where I have to hold 0.5 mils. If I'm shooting 600 meters, it's 0.6 mils every some odd mile an hour. So wind is mostly linear. It is a linear effect. So if it's if it takes four mile an hour for me to have to hold 0.5 mils at 500 meters, at eight mile an hour, I would hold one mil, All right? At 12 mile an hour, I would hold one and a half because it's 0.5 mils every four mile an hour. Now. That's all going to change based off what you see for quick wind uh, once you calibrate it, but that's how quick wind is effectively used. All right, so you come in and your range is your wind call every X amount of mile an hour. All right, it was made to be quick, it was made to be fast. All right, there's there can be changes. Now these changes that we see are called den we call them density altitude corrections. All right, so the the Kestrel in in this Hacker's first page doesn't come in and calculate your density altitude corrections for you. Um, but the way you can come in and find them is you come in a range card, all right? So you plug in whatever in the wind. So make sure you have like three o'clock or nine o'clock turned on and then come in and turn spin drift off in your environment. All right, then you come in and plug in whatever wind speed you saw for your quick wind value. And then now you start scrolling down in range card uh, in hundred meter increments until you see the range does not match your wind hold, all right? And it depends on density altitude, it depends on the gun you're running and the muzzle velocity and the BC and a whole host, whole host of other things. But it's calibrated at 500 meters, so you should see 500 equals 0.5, really close at least, all right? And then 600 probably says 0.6, but 700 may say 0.8, all right? And what that means is, at 700 meters, it's 0.8 every X amount of mile an hour. All right, that's a density altitude correction. So that's gonna be, at 700, we have to add 0.1 every so some odd mile an hour. All right, um, if it's at 700, you may see 900, you have to add 0.2. So 900 may be 1.1 mils every X amount of mile an hour. So we use quick wind typically when I don't have wind dots. And um, when, when, we'll talk about speed drop a little bit later, but if I use something, I've come up with um, a dial down method for speed drop, then my wind dot values can become my quick wind because quick wind is effectively ballistic, sort of. Um, and we'll talk about speed drop in a little bit and, and how that works and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get there. Um, but quick wind can be used for that. Quick wind's used inside of a thousand meters, things like that. Um, but really it's when I don't have time to look at my Kestrel because I need to get a shot off quick. I don't have wind dots and I'm in the close range. And the way it works, again, just as a quick recap, my range is my wind call every X amount of mile an hour. 